Hey guys, it's the Andy Son here. Thought I'd just check in with a quick little vlog. Today's my mom's birthday, and uh, just kind of out and about on this uh, gorgeous Saturday, because the weather's really nice here in Ohio for some reason. Yeah, I just thought I'd go on a nice little bike ride, kind of get out of the house, because I've been getting, you know, wicked case of cabin fever lately. Yeah, the uh, auction for the TV that I had put up on eBay didn't sell, despite a whole lot of uh, interest from uh, you guys. I guess, you know, the era of the uh, tube television has come and gone. People are more interested in buying flat screens and stuff now, which I don't blame them. I mean, what would you rather have, a 52-inch uh, LCD or a plasma TV that you can pretty much put under your arm and carry to the car and put it up with no problem, or a 200-plus pound monstrosity that you got to get two of your other friends to help you with? I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer. And, you know, I'd honestly, like, I'd honestly prefer a, uh, an LCD TV over a regular tube style or whatever. Just not just for picture quality, but for weight purposes, storing, I mean, it takes a lot less, takes up a lot less space and things like that, so. And, you know, we're, we were trying to sell the TV in order to get a flat screen television. You know, the whole job uh, front is kind of looking grim right now as winter is slowly approaching. Honestly, the uh, job market has pretty much died ever since, I'd say, around August. Just because, you know, companies stop hiring and, uh, you know, as winter approaches, you get less customers and stuff, even though you might have, like, a Christmas boost from January to February and a little into March is when... You know, people don't see a lot of sales just because of the whole after Christmas spending hangover, I guess. Yeah, so I've applied at, uh, God, either th like up to 30 or 40 different places. Got interviewed once to be a car salesman. That didn't really turn out, which I'm kind of glad just because I don't really fancy myself as a car salesman. As I had said before in one of my previous vlogs, I was planning on moving with my cousin up to Michigan because she was going to get an apartment with her boyfriend and wanted me to come along to keep the rent low, which I think is a good idea, but I don't know. The way the economy, the uh, American economy, as well as Michigan's economy is looking, <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. I'm keeping that option open just in case, you know, my stepdad gets pissed at me and decides to kick me out again for whatever asinine reason it will be this year, but I don't know. Chances are I probably won't go just because, you know, unemployment up there I think is it's either 16 or 17 percent of Michigan is unemployed. Yeah, the unemployment rate in that particular county that we're going to be living in, I believe it's around 12 percent, while the county that I'm living in is at 9 percent. If I can't find a job with a 9% unemployment rate, I sure as hell won't be able to find one with a 12%. So that begs the question, you know, what am I going to do? Where am I going to go? Although I'm not being kicked out as of this moment, I'm still on pretty good terms with my stepdad and everything, but I know that there will come a time where, you know, he'll get pissed at me for doing something or not doing something or just playing get pissed at me because he has, he has a tendency to do that a lot. So I just want to make sure my bases are covered this time. I have a plan B lined up just in case. I'm still waiting on unemployment to get back with me as far as uh, receiving unemployment compensation. I have to do some kind of over the phone interview dealio and uh, they sent me a thing in the mail saying that it will happen but they haven't sent me anything uh, saying when it will happen. I'm gonna give them a call on Monday to see what's up. Hopefully I'll be able to get all the unemployment that I've been continually applying for, you know, all the weeks that I've applied for unemployment compensation. Hopefully I'll get all that when it's awarded to me, which if it is, <laughs> it'll be uh, well over $1,000. I think right now it's up to somewhere around 1300 Once I apply for this week, it'll be over 1400 So yeah, that should be a, a decent little nest egg to uh, move out with. You know, it should give me enough for my deposit, rent, a little bit extra for uh, food and bills and stuff like that. I'm currently uh, thinking about, you know, possibly moving to a warmer climate. Just because, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of tired of living in the same old area of the world. I was going to say America, but just the world. And uh, I want to experience, you know, a different climate, a different area. 
Despite getting kicked out of my apartment in Bowling Green and having to move away from everything that I've slowly worked up to building, you know, I did enjoy my experience there. It was definitely helpful and insightful in order for me to figure out, you know, my expenses, especially my food expenses, because at that point I had already figured out rent and had a good idea for how much I'd pay in utilities and things like that. But for something like food, it's really, at the time, it was really difficult for me to uh, just kind of figure out, I guess, just because I didn't really know how much I'd eat, um, how much I'd spend on food, not to mention other stuff that I don't normally spend on on a regular basis, like shampoo, deodorant, um, razors, you know, the little shit. <laughs> so uh, moving out, even though I was only out for close to three months, it was helpful in uh, helping me figure out what my budget will be the next time I move out. And it also helps to know what kind of foods I like. I know that's kind of, a, kind of a strange thing to say, but, you know, when you're out on your own, you definitely know the kind of foods that you enjoy. And you kind of push away from stuff that you don't really care for. In my case, stuff that's too difficult or too lengthy to prepare. I normally kind of shy away from stuff like that. When I was living in Bowling Green, I tended to gravitate towards, uh, like, microwavable stuff, like the, uh, the Innovation cooking line. That stuff was awesome. Friggin' spicy beef and broccoli. That stuff was practically like my main lunch dish when I wasn't having tuna salsa. It was pretty good, pretty good. So yeah, basically I'm currently entertaining the idea of moving to California. And I know, I know, the economic climate over there is really, really bad. Not as bad as Michigan, but still uh, definitely not the uh, job hot spot, <laughs> as it were. But despite California's uh, overall bad job climate. There are a couple of uh, spots where jobs are uh, not really plentiful, just uh, the economy's not quite as bad down there. And uh, one of them is Orange County, and uh, I'm thinking of moving over there. Because, I mean, it's it's right by the beach, you know, the jobs are good, the weather's nice. I mean, it's, always, it's usually sunny without being, you know, overly humid, which was a main complaint I heard from uh, Charles Trippy, who lives in Florida, that was kind of a main thing of his, was that it was too humid and uh, it would rain like all the time and then it'd be sunny. I mean, I liked Florida when I visited it, when we went to Disney a couple years, Disney World a couple years ago, but I wouldn't want to live there, especially with the, you know, the rain that we had to put up with. I mean, there was one day where the rain just came down really, really heavy and, uh, Nah, I don't want to deal with that. Plus hurricanes and stuff like that. It's just, nah, nah. Not going to deal with that. Yeah, if any of you guys live out in the uh, California area or have lived out there, uh, specifically Orange County, leave me a comment saying, uh, tell me, you know, what it's like out there. You know, what the, how are the jobs, the climate, the people, whatever you want to put down. I have to tell you guys before I go that my videos for this coming week might be a bit delayed just because my stepdad's gonna be coming on Monday and he may or may not want me on the internet. Probably not just because, I don't know, he's weird. So I might not get my Monday video or my Wednesday video out depending on how long he's gonna stay. If that were to happen, then next week I'll put out two videos, two videos. I'll still try to get them recorded and then edited and everything. I mean, I already have an idea for my uh, my CD review already done in my head. I still need to work on my uh, Japanese video because I don't really know what I'm going to be doing in it. I don't really know what I'm going to be doing or saying, but I should have some time to figure it out. And uh, yeah, so this is the Andy San signing off for now. Hoping to see you guys on Monday, but if not, I'll see you the following week. Week. See ya.